Hey everyone, James Beckett, uh, week nine. Just watched the uh, video with over the uh, LEPC with uh, Chief Witzkin. Um, I thought it was very informative. Um, I'd actually never heard of this before. I think that it's a fantastic idea getting the knowledge out to uh, first responders as well as even uh, the community. Um, <clears throat> he did mention that one of the challenges is getting the information out to the community. Um, he specifically referenced shelter in place. Um, I can understand how this uh, can be difficult to obtain, especially if an incident were to occur. Um, be mass panic and chaos. Um, I'm sure that uh, residents would have difficulty sheltering in place knowing that they're in close proximity to uh, whatever is released. Um, and then he, he also mentioned um, that there's enough coordinators, uh, one for each county basically, except for uh, two counties have one. I think uh, having a point person for each county uh, is a great idea. Um, I'm sure that there's multiple, multiple hands in each county. Uh, just having one lead person, uh, that way everything can go through them. That way there's not uh, any confusion uh, at the top in case the two people don't talk to each other. So just having one person, I think, uh, is a fantastic idea. And then... Uh, Getting the information to the first responders, um, towards the end of the video, he mentioned uh, what the first responders should do or that what he would like them to do with the information. Um, I couldn't agree more. Uh, review the uh, information and then even make site visits and then go over it with uh, them. Uh, their... Uh, the ones that deal with the uh, chemicals on a daily basis. So any questions that the fire department may have, uh, they can uh, directly ask them. And uh, I'm sure that more times than not that they would have the answers. And then another uh, fantastic idea that I think uh, the LAPC has is using the uh, worst case scenario model. Um, it's always better to be over prepared than not prepared enough uh, I think that this will uh, if an incident were to occur that it will allow uh, everyone to think the worst case scenario first and hopefully the best turns out but uh, example would be like evacuation distance um, if it's unknown uh, just evacuate to the uh, worst uh, case scenario distance um, make that the hot zone uh, and then create your zones going from there but I think that the uh, worst case scenario uh, module is a great idea uh, I know that he referenced ha facilities having coming in or them not maintaining uh, the records like they're supposed to or reporting uh, I can only imagine how difficult this can be county by county. He, he referenced Hamilton County had over 600 facilities alone. Uh, that's enough to keep you busy for the entire year right there. So uh, hats off to everyone involved there, just making sure uh, that the facilities are reporting like they're supposed to and uh, they're keeping everyone safe. And then the last thing he mentioned, training. Uh, they have to do four in a four-year period uh, with one like real live full-scale drill uh, he referenced uh, using the uh, great american ballpark uh, mass casualty incident uh, i think that's a fantastic idea it seems like uh, a lot of hap terrorist events lately um, it seems like they have been in large crowds of people so um, utilizing the ballpark and having over 300 victims I think uh, that was fantastic idea 
And once again, hats off to them for and everyone involved. Um, I feel like this greatly benefits uh, everyone in the community, not just the first responders. Thank you.